you guys what's going on you already know it is memorial day weekend so i felt the urge to cook something that i know is going to be so pleasing and appetizing so here we are i just got back from the seafood center um the one that's not too far from the house these corn on the cobs I picked up uh, last week from Publix and you can tell these are fresh corn. I prefer to do everything as fresh as possible uh, when it comes to eating in general, not just seafood. So to start off, this is the seasoning that I'm going to be using. This is Louisiana fish fry products and this is the crawfish, shrimp, and crab boil seasoning. Now, it has directions on the back, of course, but I am just going to be doing it as I think I should or as I feel as I normally do. Y'all know I have frozen shrimp in the freezer, but I've decided today to go with some fresh shrimp, fresh shrimp, and this is 1.09 pounds in the total for this amount of shrimp was $14.16 and then I got about two and a half three clusters of crab legs they had some enormous crab legs in there but I decided to go with these and this total came to $25.65 for 1.51 pounds Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and open this and just rinse all of this seafood off. Of course, everything is fresh and everything in the seafood market, but you can never be too sure with germs and cleanliness. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and rinse these off really quickly. I think I'm going to use all of these because shrimp is my favorite. Y'all know I eat shrimp like every other day for the most part. It's just my thing. I be eating shrimp all the time. Going to be using this bag to cook everything in. So, uh, yeah. I need to, um, once I rinse these off, I'm going to be adding some water to it, some butter, the seasoning, um, the vegetables, and potatoes. All right, y'all, so I have clearly cleaned and rinsed off everything. I did not use all the shrimp because it was a lot more in there than I thought it was. And I really hope my little bitty pot that I have is going to fit this big bag in there. I think I should probably let out some of this water because it's a lot of water in here. And a lot of this food does not need so much water um, just to cook. A lot of it is cooked by steam. Hopefully that was enough water. I am going to be adding some butter in here and all of that now. Mmm, that smells so good. Some Obey seasoning as well. It would not be right. Oh Lord, if I didn't do that. I'm going to put a generous amount of garlic in there because it is going to be diluted with the water and there is a lot of food in there that needs to be seasoned. I have stick butter as well, but this is right here right now. So I'm using this. I have lemons as I mentioned before, but I believe I'm gonna wait to the end to actually use these. So I changed my mind at the very last minute to actually put this food in the oven. So that is why I no longer have put it into the pot. So you guys, I just checked on this seafood bag that is in this freaking oven. And y'all, I was very, very, very surprised to see that the bag had, has actually freaking melted and it, it like exploded all over the pan. So y'all, look at this shit, look at this. I'm so glad I actually took a lot of the liquid out before I put this in the oven. I, I removed some liquid again. And now what I'm gonna do is basically try to 
um, place this on top of this right quick on top of this stove and then add the contents into this pot right here I do not know how that happened this clearly was not a bag that was um, that could be cooked with and I was not aware of that so that is wow I just am like so surprised I'm going to try my best not to burn myself like the freaking plastic melted all over the freaking food and I'm just oh uh, why did this happen like look at this do y'all see this so now I'm just gonna take my time trying to remove this plastic thank God it is removing very very easily I thought it had like melted into the food, which I was gonna be so sad, but it didn't. And I'm gonna let this finish cooking on top of the stove. Like y'all, I cannot even believe this. You hear me? I cannot believe that. I'm so happy that I, oh my goodness. I'm just so happy that I got up to look at this. That had been in the oven for about um, maybe like 20 minutes so i'm just gonna let it cook a little bit longer on the stove then it's gonna be time to eat because i'm hungry you guys my food is finally finished oh my goodness i've already cut up one lemon i don't think i'm gonna have to use the other one at least for not right now i definitely want this cluster of course I think that should be more than enough food for me at this moment. Oh, you guys, it's finally time to eat. I would have set up there at my, um, you know, little bar area, but being that my balcony and everything, sunlight is coming in opposite, like against the camera, it wouldn't have worked out. So I have some melted butter right here. I put some lemon pepper seasoning in there and that's about it. I'm about to say my grace right quick and I'm about to get to grubbing. If anything is at the bottom of my feet, y'all, please ignore it. I don't know if y'all can see my feet or not. I keep thinking that it is Saturday for some reason. And it's like I keep seeing kids walking outside like with book bags and stuff on. I'm like, why do they have book bags on and it's the weekend already, but it's definitely not. It is Friday. I do feel like I possibly had too much water in the bags. This is my first time trying to attempt to do like the crab boil in a bag. So y'all yeah, be easy on me in the comments. I do think as well, when I had took the food out of the oven, the shrimp were like at a perfect, like I think I feel like at that moment they were cooked perfectly. And when I put them on the, the stove, I think it may have overcooked them a little bit just because I know the texture in which I like my shrimp. Um, these are a little bit firmer than I prefer. It was all a learning lesson as well as trying to get this food cooked because I'm hungry. So I know what to do next time. Next time I'm gonna make sure that I have like a turkey type of bag to put in the oven versus what they supply with me at the seafood center. Because, honey, that didn't work. I'm about to burn my whole house down. I think I got renter's insurance. If y'all got renter's insurance, y'all need to give it the program. But anywho, happy Memorial Day. I don't even know if that's a thing that people say. But <clears throat> I hope everyone remains safe. Um, make sure you think before you do something. Yeah, if y'all using Uber, make sure y'all use my code. Yeah, it should be on the screen somewhere. I really want to bite into one of these potatoes, but I know it is going to be like crazy, crazy hot. Mmm, so good. I do feel like I could have put a lot more seasoning on it. I just didn't want it to be like too seasony where it was like overwhelming. Because a lot of restaurants, they're like over season some stuff and then it kind of take away from the food. So I'd be like, uh-uh. I, I wanted it to be just right. This go around, I don't think it was just right, but it's all good. I don't really have any plans for this weekend. If y'all do, 
let me know. Or if y'all had plans and you already did your stuff, cause ain't no telling when this video gonna be up. Let me know in the comments, what did y'all do this weekend? Am I eating fast? I'm like extremely hungry, so I'm probably gobbling my food down. I already know this corn about to be really, really hot. <clears throat> I'm watching like this documentary on TV. Of course, y'all can't hear it cause it's on mute, but it was like the resurrection of a uh, Tupac. I'm all bent over cause I try to make sure I'm in the frame. This corn definitely is seasoned. Like spicy hot. I always see people doing these videos like with another person. I didn't have anybody else to do it with. And it was so like random. Like I literally was running errands and I was like, I really want something good to eat. I wanted nachos, but I was like, I'm not trying to eat that. And damn, I was like, I want some crabs. But the place that I'm going to, if I want this type of food, it was way too far. I was like, I'm about to do this and I'm gonna film it and it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be delicious. Dang, that playing loud. Ooh, ooh. Yo, that song, that Beyonce homecoming song, excuse me, theme song is like in my head. I need one of those cruncher things so I don't break my teeth trying to open these. I just wanna have a good time. And <clears throat> I'm not trying to break no nails either. Mm, 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 mm. It's such a happy song. That seasoner, <clears throat> woo! Really soaked into the corn cause the inside of my lips is burning. So I believe the next video that I'm going to do y'all is um the, the video where everybody's like, the person in front of me chooses what I eat. I'm definitely not trying to convert my channel into a food channel by any means, but I just like to consistently try different things. Uh, just because I get tired of doing the same old stuff all the time. It's always fun to invite y'all in, excuse me, oh, more into my life like doing things that I enjoy. Y'all, do y'all remember, I don't know if I actually had put it in the vlog or not, but do y'all remember in like when I was at BeautyCon, vlogging and showing my outfit, I think on the second day, honey, while I was in my Airbnb, my freaking camera fell and uh, I don't know if I had put that in the vlog or not, but if I didn't, my camera had fell like off of a dresser onto like a hard wood floor. <clears throat> and the camera had actually like, it didn't break to the point where it doesn't work, but it got messed up really bad. Not my DS, oh my gosh, not my DSLR, but my vlogging camera. What I did before I went to the, uh, the seafood center, I actually took it to this place called Camera Clinic. And I had been thinking about going in going to them for like a while and so i finally went today to drop off the camera to see if they could fix it he said he definitely could fix it there's no doubt about that but it was like all about like how much the pieces will cost because it's a sony and he was like they just be charging crazy for the pieces and all this other stuff so i was like oh lord even if i don't want to um get the camera fixed there's like a fee of like $40 to come pick it up, which is understandable because like, you know, they have to do research and stuff like that to see like what is wrong with the camera, what pieces need to be fixed, this, 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 and that. I'm just like, oh my God. So I'll keep y'all updated with that. He said he'll let me know something on Tuesday, Wednesday at the latest, which makes sense because it's a holiday weekend. Y'all keep me in y'all prayers that it is very affordable. He ain't gonna try to tax me to try to fix that daggone camera. I'm slick like a G eating crabs and stuff. I know I'm definitely gonna eat some more of the crab legs, but this is where I'm gonna finish off this video. My bowl is empty. All it has in it is the two lemons. Well, the two pieces of lemons. It's one lemon together. Whew! You guys, I am finished. My hands are ridiculously crazy, dirty, disgusting, yummy at the same time all together. Thank y'all for watching this video. If y'all have any tips on ways that I could, um, 
make the next crab boil. Sorry y'all, my camera had got full. I didn't have any memory space on it, so I had to delete a couple things. But if y'all have any tips on how I can make this easier on myself, if y'all see my hairy legs, y'all don't say nothing, okay? I understand that they're hairy and I need to shave. But yeah, anyway. Anywho, um, y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all think I did um, and all of that. I am about to indulge in some more food and watch TV and relax on this beautiful Friday and take a drink of this water because I am beyond thirsty. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. Make sure y'all pound dope, smash the thumbs up button, comment down below, and um, show me love and I'm gonna show y'all some love back. I love y'all, we'll see y'all in my next video. Bye you guys, bye. Bye, I know I look a mess, bye bye.